Hi, and welcome back to the Save It For Parts channel. You may have noticed from previous videos that I have a lot of computer junk on my desk. And as with most things I own, this is all second-hand, cheap, and slightly scratch and dent equipment. That monitor over there, which I use for video editing, I got out of a dumpster. This monitor I also got from a dumpster. I liked it so much that I got another one identical for this dual screen setup, but unfortunately my original one has now started making a funny whining noise. It actually changes if I uh, change the background from a light color to a dark color. It's obnoxious enough in real life that I'm, I'm getting really sick of it. Now I think that's probably one of the capacitors that's gone out in there, so I've ordered a capacitor kit to try to save this dumpster monitor so that I don't actually have to spend real money on any computer equipment, which, who wants to do that? This monitor model is an Acer AL2216W. It's a little bit older, but I really like these. Obviously, I like it well enough that I bought a matching one. Now, the only thing that I don't like is that while the model numbers are identical, they're like slightly different generations or something because the mounting brackets on the back are different. So this one is a little bit higher, the stand. This one's a little bit lower. So you can see I've propped it up with a book there. I don't know why companies do that. They take a perfectly good product and instead of changing the model number, they change a bunch of stuff on it and keep the same model number. So it really fakes out the consumer. Even though this is now unplugged, these capacitors could still have some juice in them, so I should go ahead and short them all out before I start desoldering them, just so they're not uh, shocking me as I work with it. All right, we've replaced as many capacitors as I can find on this board. The little kit that I bought online has capacitors that aren't on here, and it, it doesn't have this one or this really big one. So the noise that I've been hearing has been coming from this area, so it could still be this capacitor. All right, it's plugged in, and I don't hear any buzzing. I don't know if the monitor is actually working, but uh, this is a good sign so far. So let's go ahead and reassemble this. And half the reason I film things like this is so I can remember where all the bits go when I go to put it back together. Alright, so we're back in business. I've got that old monitor running just great. No whining noises, no high-pitched buzzing. So one of those capacitors or several of those capacitors were bad and replacing them has fixed the problem. 
Maybe someday I'll upgrade to one of those newfangled HDMI monitors, but for now I'm perfectly happy with these VGA units. I hope this was a useful video for somebody. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.